Welsh landscape. To live in Wales is to be conscious at dusk of the spilled blood that went to the making of the wild sky, dyeing the immaculate rivers in all their courses. It is to be aware above the noisy tractor and hum of the machine, of strife in the strung woods, vibrant with sped arrows. You cannot live in the present, at least not in Wales. There is the language, for instance, the soft consonants strange to the ear. There are cries in the dark at night as owls answer the moon and thick ambush of shadows hushed at the field's corners. There is no present in Wales, and no future. There is only the past, brittle with relics, wind-bitten towers and castles with sham ghosts, mouldering quarries and mines, and an impotent people sick with inbreeding, worrying the carcass of an old song.